February 12, 2018. Um, let's see. Um, just as a reminder, there is no select board meeting next week. It's President's Day. Uh, we will be having another public hearing on February 20th. That's Tuesday. And should there be the need for any business, we will stay and conduct business at the end of that meeting. Otherwise, our next regularly scheduled meeting is two weeks from tonight. All right. Uh, approval of minutes. Are we ready to say they're okay? All right. The minutes have been approved by consensus. Is there any community input other than housing standards, which we'll address? Yes, yes. Um I just wanted to mention after um, the meeting that we had on Saturday that it appeared that there is some considerable confusion about whether or not road repairs and maintenance should be capitalized. That appeared to be the problem for Mr. Jansen. And I think part of the reason that they've been putting these on warrants in the past is because people are looking at it as a capital expense rather than maintenance. And I think that might be part of the confusion and maybe if we were able to get a more definitive um, answer um, as to road maintenance clearly being a, an expense that's not capitalized, it would make people more comfortable with understanding why it would be in the operating budget. Um, that's I, that's understood. just my observation. I mean, I, uh, understood. I mean, the board has discretion with I understand. How it I understand, and I'm not. And, 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 and that is that is what was the issue. I mean, it was right. the board's discretion and authority and power and whatever to have it in the operating budget. The rationale that you know we have come to, and we've been saying it over. It was not a surprise. We've been announcing it that we were moving in this direction, and this is the year that we did it. It's because it's not. It is a recurring expense. It's not well. You know, two years we're going to do this culvert, and three years we're going to buy this piece of equipment. This is a recurring expense to manage and maintain our public roadways. Right. Sometimes we're going to reclaim a section. Sometimes you're just going to overlay. Sometimes it'll be ditching. Sometimes it'll be this, this, or that. But it's, you know, it's all. It's a recurring, natural, every day, every annual expense that a town uh, has. So. But anyway, I thank you for your input. Right. And I'm hoping, well, one of the things... Gets me jazzed up. Because I think Mr. Jansen was confused about that. I think he thinks that there's a statute that says these right. items must be capitalized, and there is no statute that no, says there isn't, these items must be capitalized. No, there isn't, but in general, capitalization is on those things where you're not preserving the asset. It's when you're improving the asset. And I think that might have been some of his confusion. And there was also, even in the IRS code where... Um, and I'm not a tax expert, but generally speaking, it was something along the line that it used to be that if it's over a certain amount, you would capitalize it. And that's no longer true either, even for businesses. So I'm thinking that, you know, in general, they look more to the purpose. And maybe, again, that would help Mr. Jansen understand the difference. And that would explain to people why you would want to have it in the operating budget and it would be improper to be putting it in a, on another thing because it is an ongoing expense that you must do to preserve the assets of the town. And there are various accounting standards, whether they're FASB, GASB, um, right? I and, understand. You know, the thresholds change across the years. The university had its own, you know, that it got approved by the feds when it was doing business with the feds, what it considered a fixed asset, you know, I in, which it didn't. That. So you know, there's no there's no immutable law, either right. in state statute or federal or anything sure. like that. And so the board chose to treat what is a recurring expense on existing assets. I like the way you just said that. Um, and we have anyway. So uh, anyway, that was I, my observation. Thank you. Appreciate that. Any other community input? I, I do have a question. At the Saturday meeting, um, one of the board members brought up right away that if they have to have legal expenses with the town, then pay for them. And it kind of bothers me personally because if they've already been told by a lawyer. The town's legal counsel, not just right. a lawyer, the town's legal counsel, acting as the town's legal counsel. Right, and being paid as such, that 
then when you choose to break that or to go con contrary to that legal advice, are you really doing the right thing as a budget member, or is that an individual just on the road? I'm not an attorney, and I don't know the answer to that question. Um, are you asking whether, well, whether uh, it's possible well, for people to be sued expenses? individually because they were not paying, because mm -hmm. they chose not to listen to the town's yeah. legal counsel providing legal advice? I don't know. I'm not an attorney. But it's an interesting question. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting question. We'll be reviewing legal guidance later on in, in our public this evening. Thank you. Other other community input? Okay. Um, so I, I would like, as unless it's an objection, I know there's several of you here to do business, but I, I would like to have George come up so that we can uh, review and go over the what? Oh, the uh, Oak Street. Oak Street and sign, or hopefully sign the memorandum of understanding the city of Dover that we can't really sign it. So, so, so George, you got dropped right into this, didn't you? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> so, can you tell, just give us an update or status on on the state of affairs? The condition of the road. Yes. Terrible. <laughs> uh, they're talking about overlaying this year, so you're going to probably get, they're going to be coming up with some track figures. Uh, definitely need to actually need more than that. But Band -aid. Have you made it? Have, have we made it passable for the time being? Yes, the roads open. Roads open. We put five ton hot dogs in here today. We're going back tomorrow. We're going to dig out, cut out, and patch as much as we can. And they're hoping not to touch it again unless we have the coal patch and small old. That's why we're cutting out the second. Uh, they're hoping they're that there's no the way for the right. water to go. The water doesn't run off the side because the roads got, you know, it's right. collapsed. Right. Right. Everything yeah, else is just running down the road and into the holes and go past last about not even a day when it gets that way. So John Storer, who's in the Doug Steele, uh, come across him. Uh, he he had a conversation with him this morning. Uh -huh. So he, he used to be with the city of Rochester most recently, and so I knew him, know him from the Stormwater, from the Stormwater Coalition. So he did one of the emails, which I didn't get caught up with until really late in the day today, uh, talked about perhaps doing something uh, in the summer to that road. Yeah. So so I will be calling John Storer and talking about that. And yeah. that. Bill Bowen just stopped by and at the site they seen. So we all we had a discussion of okay. repairing the road. So as far as you're concerned right now, is there are things as uh, stable as and, and okay with the city of Dover? And I think it's over. They work, you know, we're working together. We're going to be taking care of Outside of the road, the rest of the street. Okay. So, and that is the, the resolution. That is Apparently, this. that's the, the resolution. Yeah, that is. We, we both, both, we've been working on this for a while. Yep. And so. what happened, I'm not sure exactly how the ball could drop, but we've been signing every year a memorandum of understanding for winter mm -hmm. maintenance. Mm -hmm. And apparently, we got one again mm -hmm. in the fall. and. We never signed it. I'm, I feel that we never signed it. I, I, I trust that we never did. It I, is I, different I, from prior years because it refers to the resolutions of the of the that we passed that talk about the boundaries. It's not a comp comprehensive MOU, so which is why and on the agenda the MOU that I have in the agenda refers to our wanting a comprehensive MOU because we, I want to know I want to make sure it's not just who fills a pothole but who provides the overall maintenance the maintenance of the roads and what part and how much, what percentage, right. and who's, by the way, who's getting the state monies. So so I will have a conversation with John Storer and get back to all of us on that. In the meantime, I don't know, did everyone have a chance to read this? Michael, would you like to take, why don't you take a look at it? Uh, you, you were reading it, right? And I managed to read it as well, so I'll take a look at it. So I guess we can exchange phone numbers, so that also took place, is that... I have John Diamond put my phone there. It's just, I have it. With, with Bill and Bill, uh, John. I don't have Bill, but I have all the other guys. Okay. Uh, Joe Bushy. Okay. And Joe had my number. We, we talked the night of the trees now. I can't remember when the 
rolling stock. But we, we, we think someone might have called here on Friday, but I don't. There is. I did get a call. I stopped here Friday. They said that there was a part of a lot of old street. We were working on the truck, and I, it slipped my mind before I left that afternoon. Okay. And it was a call. I didn't receive right. a call. My guy dropped the ball on that. Okay. And we had some problem with the truck. I wanted to make sure the truck was ready for selling and everything at once. So, yeah. Happens. They let us know. Oh, yeah. So it says, I, as Jody pointed out, that this will now stay until and unless one of us. So we don't have to keep signing it. Sorry. I, mean, I have been going out and checking that room. Maybe every time I go up to pass it, they one step ahead of us. So, in Friday, I, like I said, I did drop the ball. I mean, I've seen Dover, and I mean, I've seen Dover work for up there at least two times, maybe three times over the last week and a half. So, I mean, yeah. it's, it's a tough time of year. So, I just assumed it was part of the MOU. But. So, this one doesn't have the Dover signature on it yet, but we'll just sign it for time. Oh, I'll wait for the board. I mean, just can, can I have a motion to I'll move that we enter into that MOU with the city of Dover for the. 2018 winter season. Road maintenance agreement. Okay. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Today is the 12th. <coughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. That goes right uh, Noah, did you bring this one? They gave me that. Mm -hmm. That's okay. just the map. That's the map we, we have. have. Oh yeah, we we've got a lot of them. <laughs> we've got bigger ones. I think they're on the website. Mm -hmm. All right. So we can all put our hands on the clock on this. Now does that include Pinecrest? No, this is just. Uh, it talks about um, Oak Street. It does talk about Bear Road. Bear. Yeah. yeah. So. So, so what? Plowing. So, Pinecrest, that's the one by Hannaford's? No, uh, across from uh, Chili's. Chili's. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chicken Lane. But who does that? Hey, Flower. Hey, Flower. So, you know, this is really, um, I, although they did, Bear Road is included, which is a surprise. I, I, I don't remember that we'd done that in the past, but this is, what I remember in the past, it was the MOU specifically to deal with Oak Street. But it does mention bear. I think it's a trade off, right? They're saying they're going to take that's care of bear. And that's what we, as long as we take care of, I mean, we're, we're, they take care of. Plow oak, from a plowing and, and plow we'll, take, sort of. we'll take care of bear with, down to Gold Road. Yeah. And, and they've, been plowing, they've been plowing behind us, apparently. And they do, they do, yeah. they, they do the yeah. stuff by, by uh, Hannaford's, right. you know, right. hall right. or whatever. So there is no overall agreement, which would be a very good thing to have. Ka-ching, ka-ching, yes, indeed. <laughs> yeah, so it would be a good idea. It's absolutely a good idea. And there's still, like I say, in my mind, there's still an issue about the, the maintenance of the road itself, not just the how to keep it operational for the winter, but if we need an overlay, if we need a reclamation, if we need guardrails, if we need whatever. So I think we're good. So we now have a memorandum of understanding. So Caroline, can, we'll leave this here, and you can copy and send it off to Dover. We don't have their signature, so they would sign it and send it back to us. And I don't know if you were here, but I'm going to talk to John Storer sometime this week about their plan to um, pay. Yeah, whatever they're going to do. So. I'm going to suggest this past summer. Well, we signed the uh, two funds and we asked again if they were going up on paving, right? I don't think they had, but it wasn't. They were Who were we speaking so, to? Somebody, I don't know. Um, I don't know who it was, but it could have been Mr. Steele, I guess, but I thought he was going to be wrong, so. We had conversations about In Calvary here, with, Dill, with here. Summers Lord. No, it could have been through Robert, I don't remember. And Mr. Uh, 
Probably they're trying to use blank and stuff a little bit. Uh, oh, not, uh, I think that that is, unless you have something for us, I mean, I've got the transfer station without a sticker, but that's kind of an ongoing discussion. So, but it, 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 police is not under highway transfer. I just pushed it out online. Oh, okay. it's, it should fall in line with fire, highway, police, welfare. So, sorry about that. All right. You got stuff for us? Jeez, you're not even on here, Bob. Chris was supposed to meet with me on, on the road. Okay. Uh, today it's not. So he didn't want to travel from Concord. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Okay. And he's supposed to call me this week. Okay, good. I had to call Allied Equipment up in Rockwood to order some cutting edges for them too, because they were worn out. And that, those, those were not replaced in the fall. These were an existing. So there's a PO for 500 and Separate, okay. just leave it as a separate okay. transaction. It was fine, and we'll just right. manage this one. That's for. Uh, okay, I'm going to purchase order number 1107 to Allied Equipment uh, for um, cutting edge and yeah, the cutting, cutting edge for the 529 or 529? 529, it was higher than that, but it's yet. So, for 529.39. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Mm -hmm. This one is the saw blade that I started to use today that we had to replace for $216 at that fast night. Who puts that purchase order 1108 <laughs> fast and all for? Saw blades for a total of two hundred sixteen dollars and eight cents. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Carolyn, she was here. She's here. She's here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the carols. <coughs> greatly appreciate it. A wonderful improvement. Small but great. Yes, exactly. All right, thank you. So, Chief Dusha, and then we'll go to the housing ordinance. Is that I'll give you an update on the power, old power farm building. Um, I waited until Wednesday to contact the uh, BNR. Um, and to this day, I have yet to hear from the other, the other folks. Um, they were there actually today. They removed all the asbestos, off the lead paint items, and that 55 gallon drum of unknown substance. Um, I contacted the uh, Eversolus, asked them to disconnect the electrical wire from the pole going to the building, so we're ready, at that point we're ready for demo. And they're going to hopefully do it by Friday at the, no expense to the town. Do what by Friday? To disconnect the wire from the telephone. Oh, I think oh, ever so okay. So the building. What? What? Is Lick doing this? Yeah. <laughs> no, the electrical meter has been removed, okay. but it's still a live wire from oh, the yeah, pole yeah, yeah. to where yeah. that meter used to be. Yeah. Um, so we have to Does have the water department need to know anything about? I've already spoken with them. Okay. They've all, all said apparently uh, some months ago they capped it off. Okay. Um, away from the building because they apparently use it as a test site in town to test the water. Okay. They they capped it off and, and what? Okay. So, we're all, so we're all set. So we're all set. All right. Excellent. Uh, I just have two items. Mm -hmm. um, I mentioned uh, back in uh, I think about September, October, uh, we received grants for 2018 from Highway Safety and Homeland Security. Um, there were three actually. One was for two additional MDT units for the two remaining cruises. 
Uh, one was for the, uh, the pole-mounted uh, traffic radar and counter unit, mm -hmm. and of course the last one was for the traffic enforcement. Uh, so tonight I have the two for the equipment uh, to present to the board. Can, can I ask you a question? You may. <clears throat> so, so these are purchase orders to buy the equipment for which we'll be reimbursed at least a certain percentage? 50%, yes. Okay, so we haven't actually received the money yet. Correct. We haven't actually spent the money yet. Correct. So the process is we're going to spend 100% of the money, and then we'll get, once we show them that we've spent the money, we'll get reimbursed we'll whatever the percentage is. Okay, so it's yes. going to remain a 2018 revenue, which is what I was really trying to Correct. ascertain. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> and actually, we are still waiting for one reimbursement for 2017 for that one. Can we go ahead and go? So. That, what a shame. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the first one. It is purchase order number 1365 mailed to Jamar, J A M A R Technologies, and that is for $3,225, and that is for the pole mounted uh, radar unit. And I'll, I'll pass that and we'll take a look to see what it actually looks like. Yeah, we'll have to do it. I was going to say it's a big one, though, Mike. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to purchase order number 1365 to Jamar. Technologies for one radar recorder plus shipping for $3,225. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 It was a radar one. Pole mounted. Pole mounted radar uh, and traffic counter. You're in this picture. I see. <coughs> heard that actually. Excuse me, Chief. Exactly what pole would that be mounted on? <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to see what it looks like. I was going to ask. <laughs> 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 Judy already took a screenshot of it and got it posted in the car. It's going to be near my house, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Chief, can I ask you a question? Oh, yeah, yeah. The next purchase order is 1366, made up to Glacier Computer. And that's for two uh, GETAC, G-E-T-A-C, M-D-T units for the, for the two cars. Uh, one unit will go in the 72, and the other unit will go in the new vehicle uh, we get this year. For a total of $7,978.54. Is it called the GETAC? GETAC, G-E-T-A-C, that's the name of the computer. So, move to accept purchase order 1366 to Glacier Computers for two GETAC units and two docking stations for a total of $7,978.54. So we get a 50% reimbursement on this? Any discussion, questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. That's all that I have for the board, isn't it? Town meeting and you know when town voting is and town meeting is it's, it's still a month away. Yeah, it's already in my mind. Now, but. <laughs> all right, every night. Yeah. All right. Oh, um, actually, before you go, Chief, I'm sorry. One Chief. more thing. Um, sorry, I almost got away. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. um, it's a little faster. <laughs> next time. Um, last year we met the site review committee met. What month it was, and we were waiting to hear back an analysis from the lieutenant. I think, right on, the, on the um, where, I think we narrowed it down to two real proposals, right? Is he, I, mean, I just want to make sure he hasn't lost sight of that. He's still, we don't want to lose sight of it. I know you don't want to lose sight of, of reviewing those proposals. So, I, I think when when I spoke with the board about the project last. Uh, Folks had asked that we get uh, some preliminary figures, like, yeah. you know, what it costs for utilities and right, right, maintenance right. and whatever. Okay. Uh, you know, since this project is being pat pushed back to 2019, right. I said, there's really no rush. So, um, well, I think that we, we both think, know. You know, once the town meeting right March time. passes us by, then, uh, then maybe by we should get together okay. and, and, and plan a course of action as right. to fine by meetings with the, with the uh, Space Needs Committee, then Perfect. a couple of public meetings. Yeah. And I wanted to get the, the feeling yep. from the public Absolutely. as well. Yeah. Yeah. I just yes. want to make sure we sure. don't forget. Oh, so I, I, forget. Forget. I know you won't forget about it. But. And I think also part of that uh, little laundry list was, you know, <clears throat> what are the expenses that would be saved here? 
uh, what are some of the one-time costs that we're going to experience by moving to another location, those kinds of things. So a, sort of a comprehensive. Right, okay. Unfortunately, it's difficult to say what you really wanted to save here because everything comes under one bill. Mm -hmm. uh, like the electricity is not separated between upstairs and downstairs. The phone is not separated between upstairs and downstairs. Um, you know, you're going to see a little savings. But well, understood. No. And, you know, there, but, but projection models, well, sure. I find, are helpful. And you yeah. can just say, well, we, we just presume that, you know, 20%, we'd say 20 So we did it, you know, just any way that we do something like that. So at least exactly. we can, yes. we don't lose sight of that. We remember that that's something we should keep in mind. Right. Those kinds of things. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Quickly, quickly. Quick, yeah. <laughs> Where I remember coming up. Quick. All right. Uh, housing ordinance. Uh, Rain and Tom, would you like to, I know you're both working. Yeah. 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 So, Tom, thank you as our building inspector and code enforcement officer, and Lorraine is a concerned citizen. Thank you for continuing to work on the housing ordinance. Okay. I thank Lorraine also for doing a lion's share of the work. So, I, I read it again today, and I just had that one last question about bathrooms. Now, we can either reiterate it here, but Tom, Tom has relieved me or reassured me, I guess. Just, just, <laughs> and, and let me just say, I'll say it in the public. So there was some, down in minimum housing standards, ventilation, there's something about all habitable rooms and bathrooms shall have uh, an openable window or other such device that would allow ventilation. And it just occurred to me that I know many. I mean, what I would consider modern homes. I have two that do not have windows in them. Yeah. But they have a ventilation system. Well, that, 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 that works up. Ventilation right. works. Yes. So anyway, that was just a question. I was reassured that uh, going forward, houses would be built that way, and we wouldn't be using this as a cudgel over anybody. So right. I'm, I'm fine with it as it stands. So. And I, I did see another question, and that was if we didn't have a definition for bathroom. What, well, and okay. I wrote an email to, to, to clarify I saw in the housing standards we received from Dover that they did talk about bathrooms, but they didn't say what they were. So I suppose you could say a bathroom is something that has a toilet and a laboratory sink, according to a flushable, you know, as they had in Article 3, number right. whatever it is. Right. And that would be a, a way to deal with that. So, if, and then you could, if you needed to, put that um, definition at the end. Well, to be honest, I mean, you know, I, I don't want to. I think most keep, people know what it is. Yeah, I don't want to <laughs> keep beating a dead horse. I think you can go too far. So I'm fine leaving it as is. I, the reason I mentioned that there was no definition at the end is because when I saw that thing about openable windows for right. out of the rooms and bathrooms, I figured, well, maybe, maybe they mean a room that has a bathtub, a shower, or whatever. So, but there was no definition, so that, so I did. That, but I'm I'm really fine. Okay. <laughs> and I like the some of the changes that made things a little more generic. You know, the standards that are in place at this time. You know, those, those kinds of things that just are helpful in uh, in making sure that we don't have to. You know, that we don't fall out of date in you know twelve months or that sort of thing. So. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I think Jody was <laughs> fighting something. Yeah. Between the three of us, yes. going back and forth. Sir. So, did, did you have any other questions of Tom? Thank you. No, I just said to say thank you for, for putting the time to put the set of eyes looking at it was great. So, so I think we're in a better spot than, yeah, when, than when we first started out. Right. There's no morals clause in it. There's no morals <laughs> clauses. Yes, so I, you know, I... Immoral. Yeah. <laughs> what is a What is Dover thinking about? Why is there a morals <laughs> clause? Oh. Oh, it's very old. A very old ordinance. Wow. All right. Back when we had to worry about such things, I guess. So the board, in order to uh, make this public so that the public can take a look at this ordinance that we are asking them to uh, pass judgment on in March, uh, we would need to I, make a motion to accept it ourselves and to say that that is the one that we are putting forward. And I would identify it as the one... Uh, What's the draft called? Edit three. To say edit three. Yeah. I'll move that we accept and move, uh, publicize uh, minimum standard housing draft three. Second. Any questions or comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 
Thank you, yeah, so, thank much. you so much. What I will do, or just so that you know, is I'm going to take away the edit three, and I will put today's date sure. at the bottom, thank you. and uh, and then have it. Uh, uh, right now, it's like not public, so I'll share it so that the general public yeah, can see it. Okay. Great. Thank you. Really appreciate it. We've been working on this for a while. Yeah. So yeah. Let's hope the town. Well, you don't get to go yet. Oh. oh, all right. <laughs> Where Tom has to stay. Apparently, Tom has to stay. Well, there are two more things, so we have them here. Thank you. I'm glad somebody's paying attention to the agenda. Thank you, Mike and Jody. I mean, you can say, but. Oh, yes. All right, so we can at least, before we get on to the discussion item, we can say that we've received notice, and you apprise the board that uh, New Hampshire DES wrote today's salvage. Yes. And gave them a date of 5:31:18, by which time they needed to address the the violations that were uh, noted, and they have to document that with evidence by June 15th. Yeah. So I guess we just kind of wait and see I, what happens. I think yeah. I think one of the things we can do to support the state, if you should come to that, is that we'll just write a letter saying that we'll revoke the local license. But I think the state has a little more clout and. Just, yeah, I think the best course is exactly that, just to wait for that. The license ends June 30th. license ends right about this time. I mean, we'll so, leave it to you. If you think we should write a letter, and if you would like to draft something, then, but if you if you just as fine thinking we should wait. But they can't operate without a state license. They don't have a state license. It doesn't matter if they have a town license, right? Well, it, they it, lose their... It kind of does, but yeah, it's... Um, okay. Yeah, but if, if, we officially, well, well, sure. that if we officially... Well, one difference is that if we officially revoke their license, then it's a new license that they're going to have to pay a lot more money. And I believe the state, if we revoke it, the state will then follow suit. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm, I mean, uh, he's so yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Sure. Sure. Okay. Thank you. And <clears throat> the other. That was in my folder. So did you read it? Um, um, I did, and I gave it. I thought back to uh, Caroline. Yeah. Yeah. I'm following up. Okay. So. so so there were housing issues that were brought to my attention. I don't know if they were brought to the board's attention. One, I think one was an anonymously received letter. Is that what you're looking at? Yeah. Yes, about uh, something on yeah. Summersworth Road and uh, something that called in, I believe, on South Street. South Street, yes. So are you aware of both? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Caroline told me about Okay. So Check you'll be taking looking into. I didn't know. Did I miss South Street? It, it, it was uh, something that Caroline had met, had, yes. somebody must have called into Caroline. So do you want to just say the outlines to, to the board about what is about South Street and what we're looking at on South Street? Do you know what it is? Is, it a, is that the RV? Is that? Um, yes. That apparently in the rear of the building, there's an RV that people allegedly are living in and have lived in for an extended period of time. So I'm just going to Check it out and see if that ends. Um, Val, the same thing here with an yeah. anonymous one okay. on, on uh, Summersworth Road. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. okay. Okay. Any other questions, comments of Tom? Tom, do you have anything from us? I'm all set. I think we're all set, and thank you very much for your help. Very well. Thank you. Thank you. And Chief Rutherford is here. Return. Return. Yeah. And I had an incredibly good trip last week, so I never got in touch with DES, but I'm going to do that this week. Do you have a date? I was just going to say the date's going to be sometime. I'm just going to give a little range. End of the month. 20, plus two weeks from the day, 26. Okay, so 2 26. It will, one will go into service. Is that what it is? Engine 2 right. will go into service. Yeah. So they need a specific date in order for them to... Mm -hmm. That starts the clock as far as... That starts the clock. The we, the truck. It, we, we, well, yes. Mm -hmm. So once we say this is going into service, we have 15 days to take it out of service. Now you may be taking it out of service right away, I don't know. We have a little bit more time afterwards to for the final rights as we... But but enough. But we have to have it all done by March 31st. Absolutely, oh, yeah. positively. Yeah. Okay. So if you have a if you do have a date, either when it's coming out and or when you think. You want to tell her she wants a specific date to start the clock. Okay. 
I will do that. And then I'll, I'll be copying you anyway in the yep. board. So you'll see it. I just had, it was a terribly busy week last week. Well, no. I understand. We're still doing what we're doing. I was supposed to be with somebody tonight that was going to start disassembling the lighting package that's on three and transferring it to one back and postponing it tomorrow night. So that's all part of this kind of two week thing to get everything off the three, get two in service. And one other little piece of business to deal with that is I have one PO here for the last kind of package of some of your property yeah. that officially have everything we need to get going. It's a combination of lighting package. With the new generator, onboard generator that's on it, it's powered by two cord reels that come off either side of the truck. And we can run the cord wheel as far as we want to a scene or in a house or do something like that, but we need some of this other equipment to be able to power it. So, we're going to, so that's on here. So it's going to come out of this year's budget, 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 correct? Out of, our, out of this year's equipment. Okay. I didn't need to do it this early, but we're going to get it done. And the second bit of this, because it's an estimate that I have here, and I want to get the PO approved so I can give the information to Jerry, mm -hmm. who's our Eastern Fire guy, he's going to order this other equipment we need, like I said, some of us the electrical section to get the, so that, that generator can be up and running and in service, and the other part of it is uh, needed equipment to secure the hand tools in place and the fittings for the pump in place, all these things can't be rattled around inside the pump, so this is the needed equipment for that. There's a board that slides out by the pump handle, and all this stuff will be fastened to that, so it's secured, it's there, the guys know where it is, nothing's flying around. And that's what this uh, estimate for this PO is for. Good. So they call that kind of the last bit. It's always something that I, I, I feel very confident. This is the last bit. Uh, so it's PO, it's 1335. It's the Eastern Fire. And uh, again, it's for all this miscellaneous package for lighting and tools and equipment. I try to just kind of generalize it well. Right now, everything that's on that show. We'll purchase order number 1335 to Eastern Fire for miscellaneous equipment, lighting package, tools, and equipment racks for engine 2 for $2,696.76. Second. So, with this, this is the list, because we, we do need the list. So what I'm going to do is for attached quote. Yep, I had a discussion with Caroline over already. The bet is an estimate when the stuff is ordered. It's here, it's in place, and um, I'll give her the exact invoice so that it can be compensated for. But this is kind of the step that I need to get approved so we can get it ordered. Right. Going down yes. the road. You should have purchase orders before. This is a wonderful thing. Yeah, I kind of have to struggle with that. All right, I think we're ready to better. call the question. All those in favor say aye. 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 This is exactly the way it's supposed to be. I mean, the estimates are fine. They don't, you know, you know, depending on who you talk to, it's, you know, it, it shows that the board has authorized this kind of expense with this, and it's not a hard limit. So depending on what a board feels, you know, as long as it's not a material difference between, you know, that's over the amount, I mean, it could even be a little bit over. The board might quibble about what, what material is, but material yeah. difference, but... Okay, so like I said, tomorrow night I'll meet with another individual to start disassembling parts of engine three. And so with that being said, it's basically not going to be used, it's not going to be servicing. I mean, we can still use it, we're still going to leave water and stuff on yeah. it. So say we had an incident where we needed to use it just to travel water around, we mm -hmm. could do that. But as of next Monday, basically everything's coming off of it. Then we're going to start totally disassembling it. Kevin is going to make a trip to the Berwick Salvage Yard, wherever it is, on 236. That's the place. That's, That's where it's going. So we can get the proper procedure, make sure we can get the certificate of destruction and all that kind of Pictures stuff. Pictures and all, yep. all the other stuff. That they get all that in place before we you know, get it down there, depending on whether the state wants to okay. be there. To you should see an email coming from me in the next one or two days at most. Yeah. That's fine. That's why, you know, kind of a two-week window. <laughs> yeah. And then we still have time after that. If it, yeah. Something they need to do and they can't get here for that time frame, we'll still be able to you know, meet the, the definition. And they choose not to come. I know USDA kept saying, you know, with our culprit stuff, you know, we had to let them know when we were having our construction meetings, when we were doing this, when we were doing that. Right. And, you know, they, they did show up at the very, very end to take a look at what we had done after, and take pictures of the finished product. And Everybody was happy. Everybody was happy. Okay. That's how I want this one to be. Yeah. Great. Okay. Well, I have any for me.
Discussion or questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Caroline. Okay, so town administration. So I don't know if they're highlighted on yours, but they're yellow highlighted on mine. So the things are going to have to get done tonight in order to keep our town meeting, town warrant uh, stuff moving along. So uh, we went through many of the warrant articles last week, but we do not have Hold up on my phone if you don't. Yes, absolutely. So it is as uh, we as we looked at it last week, except for the following. Article 13 on the Housing Standards Ordinance. So we just approved the version of the Housing Standards Ordinance, and so uh, so I would ask the board if we, if we wanted to say that we recommend this ordinance or not. So, I'm sorry, I had it from both sides. I was saying I was pulling it up, it hasn't come up here, I'm sorry. So, so I, have a mo I have a motion from Jody to accept the housing, to recommend the housing standards ordinance in the, in the Second. Second. Second, okay. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. All right, so we are recommending the housing standards ordinance. If you'll just give me that up, but I should edit it right in place so that. Now down to Article 16. Uh, we had this last week, but uh, we didn't realize that there was an appropriation associated with it. So it is to establish the Historical Committee Expendable Trust Fund uh, for maintenance and repairs of historical holdings of the town of Rollinsford and to appropriate $350 to be placed in said fund with this amount to come from unassigned fund balance. This amount represents previously collected donations, appropriations, and fundraising monies. Furthermore, to name the select board as agents to expend from said fund. And I can tell you that the budget committee has recommended this because they went through it on Saturday. Uh, I'll move that we recommend Article 16. Second. Any discussion? Those in favor say aye. 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 Article 17, which is not an appropriation, so uh, I believe we don't have to either recommend or not recommend, but anyway, it is to form a committee to explore adopting the town manager form of governance by petition. Okay. See if the town of Rollinsford will vote to form a committee of an uneven number of persons with at least three members to be appointed by the select board by April 2nd, 2018 to explore the practicality of changing to a town manager form of government pursuant to pursuant to RSA Title III, Chapter 37, with the committee to report no later than August 1st, 2018, to the Select Board, said report to be available to the public within 15 days after receipt thereof. We had a similar, uh, similar deadline from the police station to be quick. It was not an RSA, it was not a warrant. No, 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 I'm just saying, <laughs> self-imposed deadlines didn't quite pan out, so. Yeah. So we, I, I don't know what the board feels about it. We can uh, put it on the floor, or we can um, 
We can just choose to let it be in there by petition. My own, whether we vote on it or not, how are we getting this information out to the public? When we post the town warrant and through the voter's guide. Okay. What, what do you, uh, did I answer the question? Do you have another yes. question? Yes. Yeah. Well, okay. I just want to make sure yeah. that. The warrants, know that it's coming. the warrants are public. Right. We have to post the warrants by the end of this month, 20-something. I don't know what the, the date is in the agenda. Right. Uh, the voter's guide has it. We'll, we'll talk about it in a minute. Okay. Yeah. So, All right. So it's just a, is it just a study? You, you're, you're reading it just as I'm reading it. The former committee to explore adopting town manager form of government. So we don't actually have to do it. We, it does ask us to form a committee with No, no, I'm sorry, let me back up, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. We, we don't have to uh, accept any of the recommendations. I mean, it's just a, to form a, if people want to look into it, I don't know, whatever. Right, uh, and then if you, if they come back and say, hey, you do need one, you still have to go to town. Oh, yeah. You to, uh, more yeah, right, jump through. Huh? Correct? Okay. Well, yeah, so, right. so, so here's my, my feeling, and you've heard me say this for a long, long time, is I feel we need a town administrator. The town manager is a different right. ball of wax, and it would require a town meeting to approve a town manager. Right. Town administrator, we can do any time we think we can fund it and want to do it. Right. So that's, that's, that's one yeah, difference between the both. There's a lot of RSAs associated with yeah. town managers and what they do, and I think you know, it's probably... That's that's my opinion. They're not. Wonder, um, there's nothing in this that forces us to do anything right. except if it's passed to form a committee of at least three people by April second so to study and report back to us. I wonder if born out of that conversation, because it's very clear that it's supposed to look at uh, the practicality of changing to a town manager form of government pursuant to the statutes. I wonder if born out of that conversation it could be that it's not practical to move to a town manager form of government, but it might be practical to move towards getting a town, full-time town administrator like you just discussed. Sure. So, I, mean, uh, I don't think that, I'm just, the way I'm reading it, they're not tied to, uh, well, it doesn't matter to me, but to one way or another, so, uh, sure. Yeah, and then how much creep are you going to allow? What for are you going to allow? Well, I guess it won't matter, you won't hear until the end of Delton August. Right. The, question, the only question that concerns us right now, All right. unless we want to make it bigger, is whether we want to recommend this, not recommend this, or just kind of leave it neutral. It doesn't matter. I'm not. I'll leave it neutral. It's a petition. I'm fine with that. No recommendation? I'm not bothered either way. I mean, I don't think it's a bad idea to look at it. But. Yeah. All right, so all we'll say is majority vote required. All right, so now, so I believe, let me just take a last look. I have no other highlights. So let me, let me say this first, but I think uh, what, what I would like us to do is uh, have a motion to accept the warrant as presented here. And it says, given under our hands is on February 12, 2018. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I will finish removing all the highlights and print it and you we can come in this week and sign it, in which case then we can start posting it. Does that seem all right? Sure. But I would like us to to if we're ready to make a motion to accept the warrant on today, February twelfth. So moved. So all right. Any discussions or questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 All right. So again, I'm going to just put the final formatting thing, get the highlights done. I'll let you know when it's ready. It'll be here. We can sign it when all three of us have signed it. We'll start the uh, official posting. Excellent. So, um, Go ahead. Yeah. we talked about this Article Three, which is the SB two petition. That's the other one. It's not going. To, it's not moving forward with it without a rec. It's going to just no recommendation. It just right? says three fifths yeah. required. Yeah. Because Kate needed the. Yeah. She yeah, and and I looked last year, and there was nothing from us, so. No, I, I, again, I'm not, I'm not bothered out of the way. This is a two or one or another or 17. It doesn't work. All right, so we're good? Yeah. All right, let's do that. Close out of here so I don't do anything stupid. It's okay.
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just, so you're, you're sort of on the right track. Uh -huh. All right. Um, back to the agenda. All right. So that is the town warrant. Thank you. Now, uh, for review, there was the annual report that I wrote two or three weeks back. Yep. I, I, are we good with, did, with this? I, I'm not going to lie to you. I did not look at it again today. I looked at the warrant and the voter's guide. Um, did it change? No, no, I made no edits. Okay, it's exactly was, the same. I thought it was great. The last time yeah. I was all right, so we'll just, I'll, I'll put it, uh, provide it to Kate uh, by consensus. Uh, and the voter's guide. So let me, let me bring up the voter's guide. I did, um, if I can find it here. I, well, I changed it to um, include recommendations. Is that the one that you put on Saturday? That said to do your homework? Yes. Okay. Should be homework. <laughs> What's this? I don't know, yeah. Okay, make it open, apparently. There we go. Maybe. I'll probably have glasses. I can't really see it all. Ooh, small. Mm hmm. So, it. Um, so it starts with Article Two. It, you know, we're so the question is going to be twofold: Are we, are we good with the content? One, and two, do we want to use this as a mailer for all of the residents of Bronzeville, which is what we did last year with the voters' guide? So if the if we think the answer to, to the second question is yes, then it is four pages, as of right now, and it doesn't actually have the the ballot, the list of candidates, which our voters guide last year did not either. And the reason I'm bringing that up is if we choose to do that, it's just going to make it bigger, Long. longer. Yeah. And those things, are, I mean, they're, they're available at Town Hall, they're available in other places. So, yeah, please take your time. And, and there are some things that we'll have to change based on what we just did, right? right, right, right. Like the housing standards, we're now yeah. recommending the uh, historical committee we will recommend and the former committee will just leave blank. So those will need to be changed. Well, along with everything else, like I was at the hearing on Saturday too and they just wanted the Warren articles, like the one on the truck. The road agent left, we got the road agent, blah, blah, blah. We can shorten all that. Just the truck. Well, it, so so one of the things that townspeople enjoyed last year was the context and the background for some of these decisions that we were mm -hmm. proposing. So well, we can shorten. I mean, it is to, it, it, because there are going to be questions. What happened last year, right? What happened to the truck? Because it wasn't. They can watch our videos. Pardon? They can watch our videos. No. <laughs> so now did it home four pages because we have a lot of warrants because of, you know. I think a certain amount of narrative is helpful so I mean just take for instance article 15 it, 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 the, the request by a, a budget committee member on Saturday was just to have the, the, the just the language of the of the article like so changing the road name I mean, it's, it's confusing. We just changed it last year. Why are we changing it back? I mean, it's, I, mean I think it's, you, you need to have some sort of uh, context here so people understand. I mean, I'm, I'm, I looked at them. I don't... And we're the resurfacing the change because we may not have to help pay for it. That's well, we, we don't know what's going to happen. Right. We, don't, we, we have zero information yet, so let's see what happens. I mean, that, if we well, it's, it's accurate. If the Which is going to be my argument to store. We're already well into our budget season, yeah, so I mean, it's, that's it. Yeah, that's uh, oh, there are different calendar. There are different. Uh, there are different uh, calendar, right? Fiscal year calendar. That's the city, right? I don't, I don't know. Is it June, uh, July to June? I think so. I think we we've, we've run into this. Nothing jumped out at me that was that wasn't just wasn't you know, before. I would tell you that I thought you know, could have did last time. So that's, that is what 
what it is. It looks alright to me, but... Okay, uh, so the question is going to be, do we want to, do we want to mail this to, to all residents, which is what we did last year? In which case we can ask Salme and, and or uh, Caroline to give us some uh, approximates, you know, some uh, yeah, you know, fill out a purchase order and that sort of stuff. That was the request, right? Yeah. Okay, very good then. All right. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time to put it together. Uh, let's see. Dedication to Kevin the Sam Sandhill Crane. I'm delighted with that idea. Thank you, Jody, and thank you, Salmay, for for doing it. For writing a little write-up. Are we good with the latest write-up? Yeah, yeah, so let me just pull it up real just, quick. Just the one word I didn't like. Okay. I know, but I... What was it, the word? She doesn't like disparate. Disparate, that's what I said. Disparate. The one of the things that says not... One of the definitions can't get along. I don't want anything like that in the first guy. It so talks I just, about pe people being. So I thought diverse would be better. Disparate just means different. Yeah, but I, I just thought diverse would be better. But other than that, like trying to, like it, it kept everybody engaged. It kept everybody, like, like the community looked out for this bird, and it's adorable. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When the, when the idea was first floating, I didn't like it at all. Um, but um, after reading uh, the, uh, the, the, the thing you put together, so I'm actually really, really like it. It's good. It's, it's not something we we would typically do, but um, I think it's actually really nice. Yeah, because it's such a, a, a you know, it's such an interesting uh, yeah. thing that happened to the, to, it's a unique happening in the town of Bronsford, and I yeah. like memorializing it in our, in our town report. And I don't care what word is used, disparate or adverse, whatever, so I'm good. So did you hear back from the photographer? Can we just credit her and just leave it at that? <coughs> She's not getting back to us. What is yeah. the, uh, what is the he doesn't like her media. Like, We're not no, selling it. Her picture because they're a competing media. I see. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're not making so money, we're just. No. Right, so. What, um, you know. Um, There's nothing on there that prohibits you from I don't know. picking I, I don't, because I don't know what the picture you're talking about. But, um, he, he's, he or she has wings fully extended, if it's the one I'm thinking of. Um, yeah. It's uh, the one on uh, Molly's behalf next. I, I am proud to say I have not been on there in quite a while. Trying to stay off of Facebook in general. Um, let me look it up. Um, Sean St. Hilaire from, well, a couple of streets over, but from Foster's also takes pictures. Yeah, he evidently didn't have it. Oh, he didn't have one? Oh. One, because um, he hasn't sent me one. He oh, he uh, you know, I shouldn't second guess. I should get this to you already. Thank you, picture. Yeah, I like that. Show Susie. Well, so I've seen it. I didn't know that that was the one on that. But I, that's, yeah. I don't know yeah, where, don't where I saw it. Beautiful it's beautiful. I beautiful love beautiful it. Picture, it's gorgeous. What is that next? What are those? Those are beehives. Oh, it's over at the Bell Farm. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's great. So we're good with the dedication? Yeah. All right. Excellent. Thank you, Jody, for uh, Thank you, Salme. coming up with the idea. Salme, writing up uh, something and making how much you like me uh, feel good about the bird? Okay, so I'm going to march on with the agenda. Thank you. Uh, to remind us that our next public hearing, and I think our, our last one uh, in preparation for town meeting, is uh, a week from tomorrow, the 20th of February at 6 o'clock, here at Town Hall. And this is on the SB2. And if it's necessary, it was posted saying that we would have a business meeting that followed. If, if necessary. Okay. Um, so the annual town report has to be available to the public on March 6th. So that's what Kate has been working furiously to bring to finalization. Uh, two weeks from tonight, uh, again in preparation for town meeting, our town moderator, uh, Charlie Putnam, will be here to review the warrants with us. Uh, I have been entering it into the DRA portal, and over the weekend after the budget committee meeting, I hit the button and said, okay, time for you to review it. So 
I haven't heard anything, but um, I hopefully will be able to print the budget that the budget committee has to sign sometime tomorrow, um, or at least no later than Wednesday morning, so that they can come in and, and sign it. Um, child care at town meeting, I think we have two now. Two now. Awesome. Okay. Caroline Stoller yeah. and uh, Brittany. Brittany and Powers. Powers, yes. Brittany Powers. I was very excited for a while. And I didn't, you know, because the truth chuckle. of the matter is, I know neither Brittany Spears nor Brittany Powers. Well, I don't so, you know, Spears personally fun. either, but I thought it was cute. I so, thought it was awesome. It was funny once it was pointed out to me. Yeah. So I'm glad you all had a good chuckle. <laughs> we did. All right. And um, Brittany's looking for others as well. Oh, super. So we're Thank reaching you. out. Okay, excellent. All right, and so we're working on that. You know, I've been hearing back little by little from committee chairs about openings and that sort of stuff, so we'll have that ready. Yeah. Okay, uh, I want to revisit the Jim Jalbert registration thing because I think we got sort of went somewhere different last week and didn't really address the, the issue. Kate was asking us that, so she can combine, he was asking to have combined two registrations of cars he has sold into one registration of a car he has bought. Yeah. She says, that's fine, it's legal, but in order to have an audit trail for the auditors, she would like the board to authorize that. So I, I would look for a motion to, so we can just get that into the minutes. So I move that we allow the town clerk to consolidate, consolidate two registrations into one. For Jim Jalbert. For Mr. Jalbert. Second. Any discussion? I was yeah, point out we're making more money off of it, actually. So. Yeah, I thought it was just because you needed, you wanted to keep a certain length, but you had to go it, to the state for that. Yes. That was part of it, but oh, okay. that was not the only. Oh. It got okay. We we sort of lost. I and I lost sight of the original. Oh. Okay. I guess it was my my fault for not bringing this. It back. was a two-part. It was a two-parter. Sure. Yes. Okay. All right, so that's the motion. So part, part one we could do in part two to state this. That's right. right. Oh, so right. this is just part one. All right, so I think it's four. strange that the elected official has to come to us to fight about it. It's for the audit file. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right. Uh, so, so, Oak Street Boundary, interesting. Dude, that MOU here is, you know, a win what we are looking for is a comprehensive MOU. So we don't have that yet, and that's there just so that we can check back in with mm -hmm. when we're ready to, to get that. So but we'll leave it on hold for the time being. Teen camp. So do you want to uh, bring up the question about teen camp? Yes, it was brought up a couple of weeks ago. And, uh, well, while I was sitting in the meeting last night, it dawned on me, so I typed it out. Um, they had asked if the teen campers are going to be able to walk home. And I said, well, I'd have to bring you back to the select board. So I, yeah, so I appreciate that. I mean, I feel ill-equipped to answer a question like that. And what I would... I don't know how Michael feels, but what I would hope, expect, anticipate is that the rec committee ha have a way to check best practices and just make a recommendation, right? You know, maybe they just well, yeah, I mean, parent I, signature. Yeah. Well, we had put down our foot on saying the kids had to sign in and out last year. The, you mean the camp roll? Camp, camp roll. Right, yeah. Camp roll. And so now we have a teen camp which is 12 to 15 year olds. Are they going to be under the same stipulation that they have to be dropped off and picked up? So, I, I can't. I feel well equipped. I mean, so it, are I, you, can we leave it up to the rec committee? I would say and to the, check, the yeah, director? check in with parents. I mean, you know, it's whatever, okay. whatever seems to be. To me, there's a distinct difference. I, I, I'm fine with that. I think there's a distinct difference between what the old practice of just any kid sign him or herself out, whereas you know, before you will to right. be reorganized, versus working in coordination with parents, having a 15-year-old walking him or herself home, I think was different, so I'm okay with that. Yeah. So if they could come up with a rational approach to this, which yeah. exemplifies some best practices that people have checked in on, and then you've gotten feedback from some parents and parents, parents then parents. we're going to be fine with that. Okay. Is that, does that help? That back, yes. Our next meeting is the fourth. Probably Sunday. <laughs> yeah, it's the fourth right before town. Okay. So unless you have anything else about RAC, the rest of the stuff is sort of on hold. Uh, so we'll, we'll start with standing items. Yeah. What are we up to this week? This week. Well, this, I think. But last week, the planning board met. Yes, 
Mr. Ashby's application was completed, which we're excited about. We wish him all the best, and we're in blue and building. We hope it works out for him. But what you really care about, Madam Chair, no. is that the planning board adopted. No. Stormwater still workers. my heart. And just so you know, we follow, are following recommendation one that Hoyle, I'm uh, not Hoyle 10, um, Liz? Uh, civil consultants uh, came up with. Um, the recommendation one was to have the site plan regulations, subdivision regulations, and addendum A refer to the draft stormwater regulations for analysis instead of having to incorporate them and leave them. It was a much cleaner process. We yeah. like that approach so you much found. better. Thank God. I did finally. Oh. And uh, thank goodness. That's what happens, you know, when yes. a board we doesn't wait. And wait, and wait. I know it wasn't, wait, wasn't wait. your I know the I know. issue, but so, so do we staple that to the building permit? Site, site. Um, so it's part of the, the, uh, part of the site the, plan and what did I just say? The site plan regulations. And subdivision regulations. So, so that's moving the forward. Regs. If they're so they've been passed. They're there. Yeah. And how are you going to find it? I want, I want, I want team A to know what team B. Is. No, no. I, <laughs> yes, no. It's a really, really right. good question because we're not always good with that. Right. So it's an excellent question. So where are the site? Who who updates them on our behalf? The planning board is responsible for updating. It's um, because they're their rules, um, subdivision and uh, site plan regulations. So the town meeting is is responsible for doing the zoning work. Was that discussed? Yeah, it's going in. Oh, okay. So they're they're doing it. Okay. In our new book that's coming. Yeah, I'm that's zoning. Book. The new book is zoning. It's right? just zoning at the moment, and they're going to be republishing um, the site breaks. Site and okay. what did I say subdivision. When I don't. Know. Yeah. And at no. our next meeting, we will be having um, uh, Mr. Ritter, and again, as an attorney, will go over and come in with Mr. Crutch and do a training for the members. Finally. Excellent. That's wonderful. All the members that are current, I mean, it's up to the next like, board to reappoint them. Well, no, but no one's up this year. So, um, just the alternates. Yeah, there's some weird just thing the about the terms, yeah. So, the good thing is all those people are staying on so that we can get the training if that's possible. If okay. they're all found to reappoint And uh, uh, John Krebs had said that uh, Attorney Radigan would do it pro bono. He certainly So, that's a one, so that's a nice thing. So, he that's great. Very happy about that. Yeah, and just to, you know, just to kind of follow up on the stormwater regs. Mm -hmm. So one of the first things that the subcommittee that dealt with this work had to decide or had to kind of talk about was, do we put these stormwater regs into the zoning ordinances, or do we make them part of the subdivision regs because they're really for uh, new projects and yeah. and redevelopments. And so it was deemed advisable to make them subdivision regulations because they can be voted on by the planning board. Whereas zoning, it's it has to go to the town town meeting. So if it's something that just doesn't work, you know? That's yeah. You'd have to wait I mean you'd have to hold you'd have to have to bring waivers every time or hold developers, you know, responsible for something that doesn't work. So So this gives it gave us an opportunity to test these out. I mean their models, they were they were suggested that, you know, we weren't making this stuff up, but still, you know, when they're kind of new and people aren't yeah. used to it, so so we, so we the, the group thought it best, and apparently the planning board agreed that it, they were better implemented as subdivision regs. So, subdivision and subdivision. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, that's great news, Mike. That's I really like wonderful. It. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's only yeah. Uh, oh, two it's years. Like, well, yeah. It's a year and three quarters over there. Or two and uh, whatever it is. At least two years, I don't know. Yeah. I can't remember. All right, good now that's good news. So, anything else happening? Uh, Rec committee is meeting on the fourth. Um, I forward you the email from Lamprey that our driver is. Yes, uh, I was sorry so to hear that. But what's going to? So, what is? So I'm glad you brought that up, guys. So forgot. There's an emergency meeting coming up. That's why I forwarded to George and to Russ. Um, emergency yeah, so meeting at some point this week. Um, whenever is best for all the other towns, and I figure if I can't make it, we can send George to find me and go. So right, what this is, if, if we if we weren't clear, so we got news today this morning that the the driver. So we belong to a little trucking cooperative for our municipal solid waste yeah. five towns. It's part of the subdivision of the Lamprey Regional, and that driver was an employee of the Lamprey, Lamprey Regional Cooperative. Had. Uh, fell ill and had surgery. Yes. So, so we're now, and we'll probably be out for five or six weeks. So we are. The group is going to be struggling to find a 
uh, for a solution for this because so we felt the best for the fire trucks and towns to get together and see what is the best option for a long short term solution yeah, yeah. So. i mean i wonder if if you know part of that conversation really should be too i think that you know we're still interested in in seriously yeah. dissolving this and so and does this yeah, yeah this, this is meeting that i went to for there were but they were all the time, all the towns were represented. Um, and they asked, you know, what towns were still interested in this having a conversation. I said, well, we were interested. I don't think I spoke out of turn. Um, but we weren't the only one. There was a couple of other towns. <laughs> there was a majority of the five towns were interested in having the conversation. Yeah, so, and, it's, and something like this, you know, the, that plus the Moriarty's sort of right. backing off, and there's no domicile, and there's, you know, yeah. All this so yeah, that was supposed to be part of the conversation anyway, so the next time you all met, so maybe, yeah, I mean, if you're meeting anyways, yeah. and rolled into, not that I want to make the meeting longer for you, I'm sorry, but it might be advantageous enough to go over that, so. Yeah. All right, anything else up and coming? All right, um, correspondence, was there anything else? Yes, there was. So. The letter regarding the transfer station um, that Mike yes, wrote for us. Wonderfully written. Thank you so much, Michael. Is that right? It's just a draft. Yes, so like it, it was fine. I'm okay with changing it. No, I'm fine. <laughs> I will sign it. Everybody's looked at it? Yep. Okay. I saw it. All right, so this is a, to a complainant uh, of uh, regarding how, sh how she was uh, treated at the transfer station when she arrived without a transfer station sticker. So we're just saying that, you know, we expect all of our employees to treat all of us with respect. And then, oh, by the way, you need to show up with a valid transfer station sticker when you go to transfer station. So I, I like the, I like it. I like the way it started. Like, it's good. And this is the slip and fall in front. All right. And then we also got the board also had a complaint from someone who fell on the sidewalk on Front Street, so we apologize for that. We are saying that, however, we don't believe that fall is the responsibility of any negligence on behalf of the town. Right. So, so board, you're okay with my signing this? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. 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 Please. When Tom was here, the um, I forgot to ask him about speaking of Front Street, the cafe. Oh, Black Bean. Yeah. He, he's, he's supposed, he's to, supposed to be looking into it. Yeah. Okay, so this, uh, I saw this come in, I didn't see it, I saw reference to it. So this this will go in the, the annual report, it's our balance sheet. Oh, okay. So that's what we're Balance sheet from what? It's part of the oh, our annual order. audit, and okay. so it's a piece that needs to go into the town's annual report. So he was submitting it, submitted it electronically, and I guess Caroline printed it out. Okay, so she definitely need a sticky. But no, I think I, I will. We have it electronically. That's how uh, the town clerk will need it for. It wasn't that part of the package of things you sent. Before? I remember seeing. I that. sent. Uh, you sent. I don't know. I think with a length of like six or seven different things. Worked out. I thought that was one of them. The balance sheet was not available. The trustees of the trust funds. They sent the balance, the 2017 yeah, balance. Yeah, must have been. So that one's out there. Yeah. Okay. Move to accept purchase order 1379 to the postmaster for 1,200 stamps for general use for a total of $600. Uh, which department do you want that to under? There's already a, I don't know what this is, but there's already a count. Oh, sorry. Probably second. second. For the town okay. Or, okay. or okay. admin, I don't, I don't really know. Somebody. It doesn't say who. So, okay, we ready? We okay? All those in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> Move to accept purchase order 1378, Tom LaBelle, and for Carbonite Automatic Remote Data Backup Systems for seven computers. A total of four hundred ninety-seven dollars. Second. Okay, so we'll we'll talk about this. So, uh, when 
the assessing computer that's in our office started uh, being difficult. Uh, Tom came over to, to work some magic. He says, you know, you guys, you really ought to back up your machines because they're not being backed up. And you should do something better than just a thumb drive that somebody takes home because people won't do it. So this is a service. And so um, I guess this, this is an annual, not a guess, it's an annual service. So we'll, we'll fill this into the, that IT line every year. I mean, there's money in there this year. And, we, and so we'll just itemize this next year so we won't forget that. Do you have backing up all the, all the computers? Or? Yes. So I, I don't know why um, I go for seven. It's a purchase order for seven. We're only going to we're only going to get six. So we'll have it. We'll have the Fair. authorization for another one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Cemetery. Oh, the cemetery. cemetery one. That's now there. Uh, five. That's correct. Okay. So I guess five. How do we get seven? Can I have the post it, please? Oh, probably highway. Oh, yeah. I thought it was a combo, right? So it's already like in there. Yeah, that's already backed up. No, probably. Yeah. So, okay. 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 All right, so my note says I assume that we will only subscribe for what we need at the moment. So, so did, did we put this on the floor? Yeah, yes. All right, so it's on the floor, and um, I'm okay signing this, but I, you know, I, I'll tell Caroline just register only the what's, ones we need, and so it won't be the full $497. Okay. So, gotcha. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 But if, if something else comes on board during the year, we've got the authority to just put it up, put it on the surface. Uh, this is a request for, request for disbursement for um, the rec department under winter basketball um, for a referee for tomorrow night's game um, in the amount of $30. Oh, hang on, I'm sorry. That's, yeah, that's a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 So this comes out of the basketball line? Yep. They're playing my school. <laughs> so Kelly's team is against my team. <laughs> Input and then we, we're going to go into non public for uh, purposes of legal issue, and there are two of them. So, uh, so I'll just ask if anything from the uh, public. Yes. Um, question about the historical committee warrant article. It has a price or uh, amount on it. However, in the last few weeks, we've um, gotten a couple more small donations. Will that affect those? Those are donations? 2018 donations, correct? Oh, yes. So the the three hundred and fifty dollar appropriation is coming from fund balance, and represents you know activity that Happened the committee last did last year. Okay. So 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 what's going to happen uh, this year is that you know the donations or whatever that you uh, have the sales will go into revenue, and at the end of the year we can look at what the what the historical committee has brought in, and see yeah and see if. I don't know if we can do it. We have agency to expand. I don't know if we have agency to put in. So we may have to bring it to town meeting and just say, authorize the, you know, adding $350 or $500 or whatever to the federal trust fund. And if there's a better way to do that, we can figure it out. But that's at least one way that I think will work. Does that make sense? Yeah, OK. Um, in regards to helping out at the school, um, Last week, you guys said you would prefer people with background checks. No, no. I think we said people need that background checks. Need background checks. So if people already have background checks, I mean, that helps. So um, 
it was brought to my attention by my spouse that he's gone on a field trip with the school and has had a background check through the school. Then I contacted the school principal when I was there and asked if any of the teachers were interested. And she again reiterated the same question. If she has volunteers um, that come into the school who have a background check through them, are those acceptable candidates to do child care? If there's a background, a, a valid background check, you know, if, you keep, if they're going into the school, they've had a background check. It's probably as, as good as you can get, right? Because they're already working with children. I just know that for the rec committee, we had to do a separate one for the town. So I'm just clarifying. Uh, we didn't have to do a, sep a separate one if anybody didn't have a current one. Okay. And it's valid for two years. Okay. So if, if my husband wanted to go in and volunteer, because he has a background check, he could do that. It's been within two years. Yeah. And um, just as a point of reference, the school allows children that are 12 and up to walk home. I, it may be a younger age, but I do know children at least 12 can walk home. With, with is, is there something, is there anything signed? Do they just automatically say that? Or do you need uh, some blanket, uh, it's okay? or? I don't know that much detail, but I do know that there are a couple families, the parents I've talked to, who allow their 12-year-old okay. to walk so home from the school. Well, that would be helpful information that the rec committee yeah. can use as it yeah. works we'll on work it out at the next meeting. Yeah, I'll but it's a point of reference for the selection. I think all the younger than 12 walking home from school. <laughs> <laughs> all right, any other community input? All right, then I will entertain a motion to go to the Okay, we want a non-public session to deal with uh, two the whole issue. Second. All right, roll call, Michael? Yes. Jody? Yes. Suzanne? Yes. 